this is a 1.5 star Nautilus pet. The weekly challenge with our 2 star Nila. Let's do this. Yeah, the weakest pet with the weakest champion. Let's look at the mutators. When you level up a champion, all players discard their hand. Should be a problematic one. Okay, wait. N uh, leveling up Nila is quite difficult. Wouldn't say quite difficult, but takes a while. Okay. Obviously, Sun, the strongest enemy. Best power in the game, in my opinion. We'll take that and move along. Mm, 1.5 star shouldn't be that difficult. But Nila, man, I've never had that satisfactory game with Nila. It's just, she just feels super weird. Super slow, super weird as well. Okay, Stun the strongest will help a lot. Oh, attack. I don't need to pull that. My, I don't want to trade into my, yeah. If I get a quick attack unit, I can trade it into it in the long run. This, that, thing, that thing will always have vulnerable. It's grand. Okay. Is it this one? That will get vulnerable. Two units can't have vulnerable, so yeah. I mean, this is the strongest anyway, right? Yes. Vulnerable, the strongest moving along. Let's see if we can get Nila. Nila has quick attack on her. Oh, Nila. Okay. Uh, what we can do. Uh, what we can do is we do this and see what they do. I'll send this one against that one. Yeah. That's fine. Also fine. We'll do this then. The only proper trade is this one. Yeah. I'll take this. Well, move along. Hopefully we get Nila. On. There we go. One turn late though. Okay. Question is, do I take a trade into that? China. Let's do this and play Nila. Yeah. I am just gonna log this one. So I don't take too much damage. Go next. On the strongest, we get a bunch of cards. First off, let's just play this. So that we can get a fleeting. So we can play double cards, yeah, exactly. So if I play this, I will have two mana, I won't be able to play anything else. Which is the first one is played, okay. So play this, fleeting this played twice. And then we'll then we'll kill this one as well. So this one will grow. And they will actually technically only have one defender and that's that one. Now they have no defenders. Wait, I can be vulnerable to that, this one. Now they have no defenders. And that should be fine because I'm gonna pull it with this one. There we go. Even if I didn't pull this one, I still we still would have won. But yeah. But I, I played her so many times over the week that I'm getting used to her. Yeah, I've been playing Nila all the weekly challenges because she's the weakest, and I don't want to play pick too strong of a champion along the level requirements. This is 1.5 requirements. I don't have anything in 1.5. Uh, okay, so I can take these and. Okay, support squad, right? Nila will go well with whom? I don't want to level up too fast though. But this is trash, so... Nila synergy, okay. Champion attachment, item attachment, healer. Champion attachment will get priority. The Necron has trash, Nila has trash. If you can lower the HP, then Necron can attack without warding too much, okay. Nila, throw away the rest. Oh, quick attack. Nila is pretty nice. Get a slipstream in the deck. You also don't want to play slipstream too early because if you get this with slipstream, you can't actually play it. Yeah, it's a five mana card. Uh, deal one damage then didn't get to deal damage. One, deal one damage every turn. I'll pass. Uh, I'll pass. Yeah, I'm gonna bank the mana. No, I don't want to attack into anything. Damage more. Okay. So Nila is dying next turn. Can we do anything about that? Might as well, might as well attack and get another strip stream in. If she dies, it's fine. I definitely want to have one uh, blocker coming in. I'm not gonna play the Nila because if you play the Nila, um, she takes damage. So I'll just put this one in, bank the three man, and go next. If you can get a, if you can get a fleeting this girl, I can actually play twice two of hers. Double fleeting of that. Okay, so we still have a chance to play this girl if we get it. Okay, never mind. We played the double one. Nila can level up. Okay, we have to block that one, right? Okay, let's play the weakest one to block that one. 
I'm okay with this trade. Can't play the girl, it's fine. We'll play Nila. And play this one. I don't want to play this because it might level up Nila. It's fine. No, she, it wouldn't level up her. Hmm. Okay, so if, when she level up, we discard our entire hand, right? Well, all players discard their hand. Okay. So that's actually good. All players discard their hand. So I should definitely play this one, right? Huh? Let's play this one. Okay. Copying it. Okay, interesting. Let's play this one again. And play this one here. The vulnerable here. Like this. And put it like this so the Nila stays alive. It's giving more stats. So this gets traded. Get one damage. Pretty good. Nila will level up. Two turns at least. Next attacking turn, she will level up if we don't actually yeah draw something right now. Okay, she leveled up. Now we discard our hand. I mean both players discard their hand. It's actually good because she gets one HP HP and she technically survives. Okay with the straight. And swing. She will take one damage. Connector is here, but we'll swing. That can't block anyways. Unless this is a shampo, you're fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think I'm playing her way better than the last couple of weeks. My god, I played her so bad. She just doesn't feel right. But it's not my style, dude. Yeah. They create a card, so we get attack power. Not really, not really the greatest. I could have taken the ship, honestly speaking. I'll take this one. Cost one less. I think I should have taken the ship for sure. Okay. Cost one more, but gets three. Get like strikes, gives us draw. I'll take it. Nila having draw also is pretty good. Okay. Shop and spell. I have to go here anyways. Doesn't matter. Okay. Attack power. Should be problematic. Fearsome units are very difficult for us to block. Majority of units are don't have the attack power. Other than Renek turn. We keep one of the Renek turns. Actually, I don't like this fleeting one. Yeah. In a defensive turn, I think I will play this guy. In a defensive turn, I will play this guy because you have a higher chance of... Not higher chance. You put a slipstream so you can actually draw a slip, slipstream here. See? Uh, but we will play Nila right now. Okay. Uh, if I play this thing, we will block by that one. Might as well attack into that one. It's fine, yeah. Might as well attack into this one. They're going to get traded here anyways. I don't want this to attack us. I want to play this when I have 5 mana so I can play the girl if I draw it as a fleeting, yeah. I need to- she will actually have- okay, yeah, I'll play Renek turn. She needs triple space if we do get the girl. The 5 mana girl, I mean. Let's see if I can get the 5 mana girl first. Champion things, can't really play that. But I can play this, I'm gonna have double vulnerable. If I swing, how much damage? Nope, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I can do this. This is non fleeting, so it's not doubled. And if I play this, this is doubled. Wait, isn't it double? Oh, it's not fleeting, that's why. Still do this properly. Uh, what I can do... Okay, let's do this. How much, da how much damage is that? 16 enough. Even with that, we can't really do it. So might as well take this trade out of the way. So what you want to do is... Oops. Two here, this here. Oh, you could have. Oh, no, no, we would have been too short. And do this here. Is it the right way? <laughs> Nila, Nila, hitting with Nila is the right way. Renata won't take any damage then. It would have been close. I would do another calculation there. Yeah. But I think I would be too damage short. This is the one, the girl that I wanted last turn, by the way. Yeah. Now, even if I play this, there's no space for you. I'll take this trade here with Rankton. You have the boss space to play two of the girls and the tentacle, yeah. Uh, I don't want to play this, yeah. I don't want to play this now. I can play this and level up Nila, but it's fine. I'll swing and finish them off. 
there's no point wasting time, right? Yeah, I think I'm playing her way more effectively than I used to. Be. I used I used to uh, over the weeks because now I'm getting her finally. Yeah, if you have the fleeting synergy, you'll do pretty well still. Eleven damage, please. Strikes gives us one, yeah. I'll take more draw, I guess. Okay, power. Draw two extra. Is it good? We run out of cards. I'll take this. I'll experiment. I don't really remember how good this card is. With this power is with Mila. Seven, I would take the seven heal. I don't need a full heal. I would four, that, four, four HP short. It's fine. Queen fight would be. Let's see. Two, two extra dots should be fine with Mila, right? Mila thrives on draws, anyways. Two extra draws means Mila will level up even faster. Yeah. This is not technically fleeting, so. So they will swing. We have to take a trade there. Honestly speaking, I'm gonna take a yeah. Three damage is fine. It's a boss fight. We heal back anyways after the fight. Okay. I'll first play this one. Now technically, even now we technically can. So if they block it like this, I'm gonna do it during the attack. Yeah. If they do it like this, I'm gonna do it during the attack. Yeah. Pretty good turn. This turn we can play this one. So in in the case we get the girl next turn we can actually play it. Kill the unit. Honestly speaking, then I'm just gonna play Renekton. No 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 reason not to. So it's uh Swain's turn, right? So this is the thing that you could keep in mind. So Swain is gonna be played, so we'll play this first. You, then play hired gun to move away Swain, yeah. We play it. On, on Swain. Can we play anything extra? Yes, we can play this one. And I'm going to pull it with this girl and not the tentacle because when the girl is played the tentacle is going to go grow so you want to use your least value unit on it I'll go next sun fine by us we can pay the girl now okay i'm okay with that play the girl throw it oh trick this trade a swing should kill them uh, this is gonna get stunned if they don't have a unit Done, we swing. We can level up Mila, but no need. Super. Yeah, after like effing up with her over the weeks and not playing her properly, I think I finally got her. This is how she's played. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. It's not just Mila, anybody leveling up, you have to discard your hand. And you can do it twice if you level up twice, I think. I think. Yeah, whenever you level up your champion. Okay, moving along. Full heal, so we're not worried about HP. Cost one more, but we do more damage. I take a reroll here, honestly. More draws on Mila. Is it actually good? Nah, I'm gonna give more H more stats to Renekton, but make him costly, it's fine. Okay. Two extra draw is super horrible, yeah. I'm gonna take a reroll here. Grow my health to match health to match my power. I will take this one. Health to match my power. Couple of situations, the uh, attack power is higher than the HP. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna never. I don't want to use a reroll because you always want to have one reroll uh, open. Okay, 700 gold definitely. Smooth solo is a better hit stop than this. I can go there through here as well. I'm gonna go through this side though. I think mirror image. Mirror image is easier than the other one. Yana. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep these two because these two can be played as a combo, I think. I mean, you have a vulnerable giving here, anyways. Our attacking turn. Okay. I think I'm gonna put a slipstream here in the deck. My friends, let us revel. Got this from a side and difficult for them to block, anyways. But I have a feeling this is gonna be more pro problematic. That girl is problematic, I think. Honorable. Don't have any, anything on us. Okay. I don't want to play this this turn next. I want to play it next turn. Okay, they will do that. I will do this. This is dying to the thing anyway, right? So you don't worry about that one. We'll go next. Hopefully get Mila. Or next turn. Next turn. 
This time I can play this one. So the next turn, if I get the five mana girl, I can play it. Get them this one. Let me get here. Take a trade here. Swing with everything. This can get traded here. This can get traded into that one. Yeah, I think this is the right way to go. Oh, nice. I try to grow my power. I have this open to take that one on any time I want. I'm not too worried at the moment. Okay, Renekton and Spill. Not really good. That's actually good. I'll take a, I'll take a risk here. Okay. Two of these guys. Double, yeah. Slipstream. So I want to play... Okay, okay. This one here. This one here. Uh, vulnerable here, block here, and take this one out so they don't get a value out of it. Okay, I was holding this spell. All I was considering that uh, unit to be dead. So next, uh, nah, there will be too much fitting. We have too much slipstream in the deck. We technically need the mana. Yeah, we have a lot of slipstream in the deck. Three, I think. Slipstream, slipstream. One is fitting. We play the fitting version so we can cast it twice. That's Nila's power. Rankton. Swing with everything. Oh. I do it like this. I'm okay with this one. Same drill as before. Okay, not same drill as before because that this is fleeting. I have to cast it now. Honorable. Okay. So what we can do is do this one and then cast this one and we like discard our hand because Renekton is gonna hit it twice. Yeah. Renekton attacks, he has overwhelm. And he levels up as well. And we discard our hands. And we the reason why we discard our hands is because we don't really have that good cards in our hand. And Renekton swing will kill them next turn anyways. They don't have a good swing anyways. Yeah. Definitely don't have a good swing. Oh dude. Double yeah. Play this one. And swing and finish them off. That means they they drew a uh, spell. Play this. Like this. Overall one should drag. There we go. Yeah. Super. That was actually pretty nice. Giving, making uh, uh, Renekton cost more, more and giving stat is much better, I think. The list combo is also pretty good. Okay. Got our challenger here. We can give a yeah as well. Nah, I think this is much better. Challenger girl is pretty good. And we'll have more copies of her. Okay. Smooth Solos is the pit stuff to go for. Okay. When you add, have the when you have the attack token, summon a yeah link. Okay. There's a rare yeah coming here. I'm going to take a reroll here. This is a good place to for a reroll. Okay. I'm going to summon a free yeah on my side and move along and try to fish for another good power pretty cost cost one as i'll take it our slip streams are gonna cost zero mana now okay you are allowed you are vulnerable not really in this in incisive tactician is an incisive tactician the one that sacrifices the power for something better i think i can sacrifice my epic power that summons a two free unit on the board i'm gonna go for a legendary hopefully not, hopefully it will give me something it, it will give me a good legendary and there are horrible legendaries no, yeah, well, power over is the worst one. We summon a free to cost unit. And we already have a slipstream in the deck. And the slipstream is gonna cost two less. I mean cost one less. This is created. All of the slipstreams cost zero now. Renekton coming in. Turn five though. For slipstream. Technically don't need to draw anything right now. Yeah. You have eight. Okay. More slipstream then. I'm gonna sacrifice. Actually, I'm okay with this trade right now. Am I okay with this trade? Nah, I'm not. Like this one though. Because I, if I can get another ruthless predator, I can do something here. Okay. Never mind. No reason to do anything. Okay. okay let's check with slipstream what we can get. Okay. If I play this one, I get double copies of it. Can I swing in though? Actually, I actually want to see what, what they play. You, it's quite important. Joy. Controlling the board, yeah. So what we'll do is this, this. Swing like this. 
As long as you control the board, you know which thing is gonna get stunned. That's fine. Yeah. We have a lot of slipstream, but I'm not gonna play anything. Hand is too clogged as it is. Okay. Thing. A super cloggy hand, by the way. Okay. Okay, let them do it. Pass, see what they do. Pass, see what they do. Okay, kill. Gives me space. Good. I hope they pull Nila. Cool. Because now I can play Renekton. I play Renekton. And does it make a difference what I play? It really doesn't. But we can play this one. Two of them. That means we do a draw two extra this turn. Swing like this. It's a little cloggy, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. 14 damage. Burn. 8 damage. We don't need more slipstream, but we can't even play anything else at the moment. Yeah. I'm just gonna pass. I want this space to be gone. Yeah. 3 cards burned, so I can actually draw something and not burn it even more. How many times? Are, how many draws are I? How am I getting so many draws? Mm. Okay. Okay. Rankton is gonna get dragged. Nah, uh, everything is just gonna get pulled. Huh? Okay. I'm actually, I actually want to take my trades here. Yeah. This girl draws as well. I want to move my draws away. Super. Get this one as well. Okay. Do I have okay, now I have vulnerable. Okay, vulnerable. This guy, so Renekton hits him twice for free because of the, because of the fact that it's fitting and it's cast it twice. Level up, you discard your hand, and we win anyways. Super. Yeah, getting the list. I think that the card's name is list, right? Getting the list as fleeting is nuts. It's a free attack. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see our epic pit stop. Regeneration, double echo. Double echo is actually pretty crazy because we can, if you can get a fitting, we can get triple echo. Actually, quadruple echo. And then, then we get so many time, yeah, which will cost one less, though. Uh, I'm just gonna give it to Renekton. Having more Renekton is more consistent. Okay, this is where we can shuffle our powers. Okay. One extra mana, copy your first two cards. Each round, copy the first fitting. Well, okay. Should I trade my stun the strongest? Not really. I can trade stun the strongest. Actually, not the strongest is gonna be very. Yeah. First fitting card you play is cast it twice. Now, next next uh, power is epic, and epics normally suck. There's this observatory shit, and if I get it, it's gonna be horrible. Okay, I'm just gonna skip it. Livia, yeah. too risky. And going for that one is fine. If it if it if if it had sacrificed this power one, yeah, this one I would have given it a heartbeat. But the other one, no, no way. I'm gonna give my champions epic power. Okay, this is the one point five star. Uh, uh, not let's fight the weekly challenge. Not let's fight the weekly challenge. I kind of like uh, having stun the strongest against Nautilus. That means Nautilus will never be able to attack after being played. That is. Okay. They are attacking. Might as well take a train. Hey the it's a draw on us. We play this one. Lipstream. Okay. Unlucky. That's actually a very good play. Now this can't attack technically. Fine. Just everything. I don't want to trade into the spider here. These are actually efficient blocks if you think about it. Hit turn 4. I'm gonna play slipstream to see what I can get. Double slipstream, I get 9 cards. This can be played combo. That's actually good to know. Okay, what we do is play this one. Do we want to take the trade? 
technically do right Not my first gun fight. do this be vulnerable to this one okay okay, okay. yeah let's cast it twice right oh no we we casted it already what what fleeting did i cast what okay never mind i make too many mistakes i can't play this i keep bank the mana let's take it vulnerable so i can play renekton oh no okay fine i could play kneel double kneeler yeah I don't remember what fleeting that I played that it was casted twice. Only the first fleeting is casted twice, not the second one. Yeah. Just let's do this and swing. They will go deep, yeah. So they're going deep. Sixteen. They're one of the interesting oh because she whenever she hits she draws a card yikes she's one okay they did enter deep one turn uh early oh no she's gonna drop she, okay wait true that means they're gonna drop Renekton. yeah yeah not as well everybody's gonna yeah they're gonna drop everything as well it's not actually, good, it's not actually that bad for us yeah this is actually perfect for us. We have our champions ready. We are drawing cards anyways. Pretty good. This is actually excellent if you think about it. Because next, uh, yeah, not all of us was coming this turn. Get this one to see what we can get. Moria. Oh, yeah. Okay, even better. You can play this one. If they have Renekton, I have we yeah. are. Reactor Nautilus, I can play this one as well. Okay. I'll play more cards then. Uh, wait, wait. I swing like this, how much? Uh, 18, I'll take 18. Go next. Keep the fleet, throw away the fleeting. We don't really want it, it's fine. If there's a spell, they can't really do anything. If it's a Nautilus, I will just put vulnerable. Okay. this one i'm not gonna even bother blocking it i don't want to lose it i can could have blocked it with the rank if that makes sense we won't give them the scope to do anything we'll just do it like this yeah super yeah that nila <laughs> level up there throwing away everything was absolutely clutch <laughs> Power worked for, worked out for us. Wait, Renekta levels up at 10 damage. 10 damage. Uh, he leveled up in one swing. Okay, then that's how you discard uh, discard it twice with two level up across the board. Okay, so the 1.5 star uh, weekly challenge, the Nautilus path done with our two star Nila. Let's see what we get. Probably a B. Probably a okay, champion champion power discussion time. So Renekton is our MVP, the support squad. I got bash with him with one extra attack power. Then I gave him radiant plate armor, making him a plus three plus three, but cost one less. So he's a five mana eight seven with regen. Pretty nice. Very big, big broad, big body on the board. Okay, moving on to the powers. Your creative cast costs one less, which is nice because all the slip streams cost one less because they are created. So that's nice. Game start summon a two cost unit from your deck onto the board. It's pretty nice. It's actually good because majority of the uh, game setters are two costs. So that's pretty good. When allies attack, they grow their uh, grow my HP to match my power. This is actually a much better power than the opposite one, which is grow my uh, attack power to match my health. Because majority of the cases in this deck, uh, they have high attack. Not majority, but few of them have high attack power, low HP, but now their HP will always match. And it's pretty good in the sense that when you attack, your units take damage, their HP goes down, but when you attack again, their HP will go up again based on the attack. So that's pretty nice. This actually have it has a much never-ending or a higher long-term uh, power-up or perk for you than the other one. Moving on to the next power, which is Game Start Draw 2. It's okay, but honestly speaking, if for Nila, I wouldn't advise it. Nila draws a lot as it is. Same as Janna, you don't want this power in with Nila. But we experimented and found it out. Don't take this power off. It's too much. Too much draw in the deck. You burn too much. 
Okay, round starts on the strongest enemy, strongest power in the game, stalls the game and holds the strongest unit of the enemy on the board. So no need to say why is it the, one of the best. I consider it one of the best. Moving on to Nila's two star power. If you game starts, you get one extra mana. Create a copy of the first two cards. You discard each round in your deck and then draw one fleeting at the next round start for each. And of course, last power. Uh, this is Nila's one star power. Each round, copy the first fleeting unit or spell you play. And that's about it. Okay, so this is a two star victor path. The weekly challenge with our two star Nidli. Let's do this. Let's look at the mutators. Okay, round start. Grant the four strongest ally plus one plus one for each of their other allies. Hmm. Round start, okay. So to kill stuff on the board, okay. Game start, the four summons. The four summons are target speak. Round in all players, draw one. Ooh, one extra draw, nice. So, yeah, Needle is pretty nice. Okay, overwhelming is absolutely must, yeah. Needle hits super hard and having overwhelming just breaks the game. She can fast forward and uh, level up, not level up, increase the cost of, the, 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 the power is nuts. She can increase the cost of a unit by two on the board because that's her power. Very cast cost one less would be nice actually. Check out these okay. Did this one. I don't want to add block into that because it's gonna grow by two. On attacking turn, we get a yeah. This one. Oh wait, wait. Why did it? Uh, why did it cost zero? Okay, whatever. I'll transfer into the next level. Just bash in this one. Oh, this will get traded here if you go for it. I think it won't, right? It get grave gain stat exactly. Okay. Play okay, needle. I guess needle. Fine. My friend and I That's five. Transform into needle. We'll take this one out and kill this one out as well. Look at the damage, dude. Overall an impact. Anything that transforms will get impact, I think. Oh, that's why it costs zero. Because this thing hits that. This thing hit that thing, you know. Fine. I'm just gonna play it as whole, yeah. They had their Ready, willing, and learn. The vulnerable there. When they run. I'm not gonna drop, uh, kill that one. Quit struggling. That's five. That's actually a lot of damage if you think about it. Oh no, dude. Too much damage. There's no way. Okay, I'm just gonna trade this one off. I'm gonna trade my entire board then. This one will be easy prey. I think this one I can do it like this. Then my unit survives. Yeah, this one survives. Take a trade. Four damage is acceptable. That much is not. Argon speak. Okay. What we want to do is play this one. Transform. Level her up. Do not in my Play another one. Transform again. So that the stats and buff comes and then evolve. But it was a wrong idea, by the way. I should have evolved that one. Grow that one, I mean. And swing like this. Uh, grow on this one. You always want to pick one and grow it super fast. But yeah, crush and overrun and everyone is gonna be pretty nuts. We're gonna hit for so much. Mm, quiet again. And playing nearly on turn three is so nuts. Banking a little bit, man. Okay, I'll take this. Poppies into the next transform. Let's see your support squad. I think there's cheap, I like it. Not victor into victor is just weird. I'll take a list. Win is also pretty good. Yeah, is also pretty good. Uh I'll take a list. Two mana gap bridge br uh, narrows the grab gap between two mana and four mana. The others are gonna technically clash. Okay, I don't want I don't want stuns. I don't want stuns and stuff. Actually, I didn't see the pit stop. I just randomly saw this yeah fight and picked it. That wasn't bad. Okay, put these away. This is actually pretty good, but it's a little slow. I rather trans keeps transforming this guy. More than this, I think this is much better. Transform. As fast as possible. I'll take a scout then. The reason why you want scout is because when scouts attack, yeah, exactly, you get that again. So you can transform twice in one turn. Next. 
I'm just gonna play needly here. I got a zero for that one. I play needly. I'm, I'm gonna take the two damage, it's fine. Put it here. For next. And this is the thing, okay. You get the transform thing. Damn, that's a lot of damage. You transform. Okay, wait. You attack. And you get the token again. And during this, I can transform. Once. Overall. But it doesn't take out the attack token. I can transform again. No idea what that is, but we'll do this. Look at that. Absolutely nuts. Swing. Doesn't take any damage. And then transform needly. And swing. Yeah. So the thing, uh, the transforming thing has extreme value on scout units. Super. Pretty nasty. You can get so many random stuff at 9 mana, 7 mana, 8 mana. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, we take a lot of face damage though. Uh, this is actually much better. This is just weird. These are weird, dude. I'll take this one. What was that? Healer. Obviously, we'll never take healer. Spells, chest. I don't know. I'll, I'll take extra gold, I guess. I'll take the extra gold. Okay, champion attachment. Young witch. Champion attachment will obviously get priority. Yeah. Gold. Okay, if I get a good pit stop, couple of back to back good pit stop, the gold will come in handy. You can't transform uh, champions, though. I should have thrown this away, though. Parcel operation. They're attacking turn. Okay. Burst speed summon. I mean, I can block it with you know, Wild Feast, but I wouldn't want to. Because I have a Lease coming in. Let's see what gets discounted. You can discount nearly. Not exactly what I wanted to discount. Let's play this one. Okay, if I play this one, I can't transform, can I? Nope. In that case, I'm just gonna play nearly. If I attack, this gets traded there. So might as well... If I attack, it's traded there. Can I transform anything? Transform a follower. Oh, you can transform that? What? What happens to Nidalee then? Oh, the Nidalee is lost. Okay. She is not at all good in my opinion. But I can do this. Okay. That's a thing that I, I didn't even know. That's actually... I don't think that's good. Yeah, that's not at all good. Okay. But this we found out a good com new combo. Or zero. I definitely want to do this trade here. Hopefully get a needle. We didn't. We skip then. I'll take this trade then. Boss one. Listen, needle here is dead now. Got our needle. Oh, super. I can play my Nitli. The reason why I can play it like this is because if they try to attack, I actually have the yeah, way to defend my Nidalee. Unless they grow randomly. Take the trade here and do this. And these summons contribute towards Nidalee's level up. Summon 4 units. Super. 2 more level up. 2 more to level up. If I get hit by any one of the units, I can technically level up. Oh, the one thing that we didn't want it to hit. Super unlucky. Actually, we can. Still. Okay. So, what we want to do, we have to play more ex most expensive one on the board, which is this one. So, that's three. And now transform, that's four. I take the dragon, obviously. Pretty good. Pretty nice combo right here. It's just pretty crazy if you think about it like this. Uh, this can't be blocked by this, uh, that I mean. Nice damage. I get my spear. I kill this one. If this if they didn't have a unit, I could have speared the face. You can't directly throw the spear into the face. You can you have to throw it on the unit. If you, there's no unit, then you can hit face. Let me change into something yeah. more comfortable. 
Then this level up is also considered. Oh yeah, level up is considered transform. Pass. I'm just gonna pass. My spiders will pull them apart if they, if they don't swing properly. Ooh, it's a lot of yeah damage. Okay. Block. 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 The block. I'm okay with this trade. I mean. Uh, this. The next. I think it doesn't matter. One impact goes through, I win anyway. So there's no point doing anything. Yeah. There we go. I mean, I could have transformed, leveled up, and stuff and stuff like that. But I don't need to waste time. I just swing, would finish Quiet them off. Again. Yeah, Crush is making this entire pattern super, like, manageable. Okay, we're taking a lot of face damage though, huh? I'll take spiders. Because we have a list, that's why we're getting spiders. I think directly attacking with a barrier on the earlier pass of the turn is pretty good for us. Okay, okay this is actually a debate, right? Going with how much HP to face it against uh, Jin, but I will take this risk, okay. Creating, do we create a cost cost on a snoop? Take a reroll here. When you do damage, you reduce the attack power. I'll take it. This should be a painful fight here. We don't have that good, that much HP. I don't think we recover HP, do we? Yeah, we recover four, I guess. Two. I'm gonna keep Nidalee, obviously. I'm gonna throw this away. This requires a transform to happen. If you don't get a transform, it doesn't happen. I should have thrown away this again, man. Keeping farsight alteration units. We don't technically get anything, but that, that's why we're gonna play Nidalee. We can't transform, we don't have enough mana. Swing in. We're gonna block this. They don't have the mana of mana, they do have enough mana. But to be careful that they don't activate stun when Jin comes on the board. Okay, that's actually a nice zero mana. Gonna make them okay. afraid of us. The question is how do I block it without playing Nidalee? Hmm. This is a tough, so I can block with tough. If you do not okay. have a part to play, interesting. Take one. Okay. Now we, we uh, without a doubt we have to play it like this. So that one unit dies, we take one less damage, and we can actually block it like that. They're I gonna pull it. Oh, they're gonna pull it like that. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna take the three damage. It's fine. I wanna have as many units on the board as possible. So this is a, this is something that I have to do. I have to pass. I have to pass. I have to pass for them to play Jin. Or it'll be problematic, yeah. Now I'm gonna play Nidalee. Where's this one? Okay. Who's he stunning? He's killing the one stunning that one. Take your place, then our show will begin. Transform this one. Who can I transform it into? Weapon unit. Oh, she didn't get a weapon though. And take out, yeah. This is the most important one. I don't really care, yeah. Don't really care. Taking out Jin is the most important one. But we're taking face damage, constant face damage. I can at least Oh, I can play this one. I can level up Nidalee. This turn, I mean. Ooh, right, yeah. Oh, super. Sure. Okay. Nidalee levels up. Do not in my What's the most costly one on the board? This one. Next turn, I mean. Oh, zero mana. Yeah. Ah, super unlucky, dude. Maker, it's not her recall that one. Oh, dude, it, it, it recalled the transform unit, so you're gonna lose the transform. This one. They're not playing anything interesting. I'm immediately gonna attack. I'm not gonna give them a chance to do anything. Too risky. Okay, I'm obviously gonna transform, which is the most costliest one on the board. The two, one, three, three, this one. Yeah. Definitely take this one. 
something like this. Like this. Okay, this. Keeping everyone alive. It yeah. lacks authenticity. Okay. It's fine. As long as I get my EA in. I get my kill on Jin. I'm okay with it. Okay. Who is it pulling? That one is fine. I'm gonna spear it. It copies it, it doesn't take the stat. Yeah. Too late to run. Okay. Suffering gonna do this. Keep my ear ready. Block ready if they do try to do something with spells. Spider's not really that great. Okay. I have one by four. Never gonna level level it up. Okay, this is, these are all I'm gonna block. Okay. Interesting. Okay. It's gonna block it all. Have my this guy ready for next turn. Oh, what a stun! Yeah, well, well played by them. Very well played by them. I'm gonna transform it this turn then. So you need to know which one is he stunning. Transform. Check which one is he stunning. This one is he stunning, so this is the one that's gonna block him. Six trade here, two trade here. Block, block. I wanna, I don't wanna keep anything alive. Actually, I can keep something alive. Yeah, because nearly is pulling anyways. This is the right way to go. Seven damage. Ooh, almost died there. Need to explore. This is the th third gin, by the way. Holy shit. It's not, it's, it's not stopping at all. I could have played this one, by the way. Most expensive one is this one. It will go to eight. This one will summon, yeah, spiders, I think. No, it doesn't summon spiders. Fine. With this and this. It's fine. You got them. Yeah, well, it, we almost lost there. This dies, we drain as well. This guy is like a green, a green get lookout or something. Yeah, that guy. That you. This unit is actually dangerous if it comes on the ward. Quiet again. Like a super fun games. Almost lost there. That's fine. Uh when I'm summon draw, I'll take summon draw on Elise. Because she has far side alteration, so whatever combo you play will always work. Spells you play when you play a slow spell cast story. We don't actually have a slow spell other than the spear, and I don't want to play the spear twice. When Nilly comes on the board, she'll smack something. Enemies have minus one. I think I will take yeah. Nearly smacking something. We're not gonna go to the red path. Red path directly takes us to the last fight, which we don't want to. We want to fight more. Okay. This time I'm gonna throw far side alteration away. Yeah, comes back. We're attacking anyways. We got her anyways. Unless we get one mana unit, we can't play this one anyways. This is actually a bad attack because they get value. But we have to. Technically, don't have. Oh, bro. Wait. Why do we already get four attack power? Double my attack power. Why do you need grow attack power then? Because it lost attack power as well. Okay, we did this one. Okay. Uh, okay, we can transform in burst speed. Interesting. I'm gonna actually take take this trade. Oh, but we get attack. Well played by them then. So that I can play Nidalee next turn. That's fine. Okay. So next. So definitely want to transform first, then play this one, then play this one, then play this one, and then transform. The quick quick attack will go away. Yeah, I think. Does that thing keep the keywords? 
we're about to find out. Oh, this one is not true. Does it, does it kick the keyword? No, it, it does, it does, it does. Okay. Okay. Transform there. Take out the biggest one and pull it with the vulnerable one. The best trade here is this into that. Yeah. It's the only good trade they have. Spear does four damage, right? Just kill that one, not this one. This one. Mangle them. This thing does one damage every turn, so that's nice. At least cost one less. Pretty good because she has barriers. She can do a free block. Play at least free block. The this one. Free block by this guy. Uh, HP big, big HP unit. I'll take the two damage. It's fine by me. And play this one. This one will tra uh, take the copy of whatever transform. And this guy is going to transform. transform we'll have two elephants on the board this will copy this one and then we will evolve this one onto a dragon even better and then swing taking, taking the big one on by nearly and everything else just so much damage nasty dude yeah nearly, nearly transform is nasty yeah he at least died but it's fine I think the spear should do uh, do face damage exceeding the HP it does. Like if something is one HP, if something is one HP and spear kills it, the three extra damage should go and hit face. Uh, nah, slipstream. I don't really want. My hand is getting clogged as it is. Okay. Heal item. Uh, accidentally clicked it, but this is exactly what I wanted. I like fear some pretty good. More copies of them in the deck as well. Spells and skill do two extra. Okay. Spells and skills, uh, spells. And, uh, I'll do. Uh, spears will do six damage then. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, One thousand gold on me. Oh, I take a, should I take a reroll? What's on the other side? Epic. I will take, take a epic here. And definitely, you all, all, always want to have one reroll on the epic. If you get the observatory, it's just so bad. You just want to reroll that. Uh, throw away everything. Keep this two mana though, because it gives for, uh quick attack and vulnerable. I get. At least as it is anyways. You technically want to play the transform units where uh, uh, nearly comes on the board. So we won't play this guy anymore. Okay. Swing. This transform everything you want to play it when nearly comes on the board. Not before that. I have two mana backup for killing that one. I don't say two mana backup but I'm just have save my mana. Okay. Pretty good. Can't really do anything about that. Play this for two. Even though I said I only want to play that during middle, middle being on the board, but it's fine. Okay, three damage, I'll take it. I'll take the bigger one out. In that case, I could have actually just played this to level up at least. Yikes. Mistakes were made. No nidly yet. Okay. But we can transform stuff on the board. Okay. Let's transform stuff on the board. Transform the biggest one here. Oh, when this hits the face, it does half damage, right? I think so. Deal damage to the enemy equal half of its HP. Run it up. Pretty good. Okay, now nah, they actually have blockers. Mm, they just do this. They have to block it like this. Oh, wait, he will hit with impact and impact would hit it, right? I think it will. I think it will. No, oh, it doesn't happen. Okay. So we'll just do this then. I think I should have transformed, right? I think if I transform, it would be better. Okay, the impact doesn't work. Now we know. At least levels up. My true beauty. Is beneath the skin. Don't really have value play here. I actually want to trade my units. Okay. 10 damage. Yikes. So 
with this one. Oh so yeah, try for and might. And we'll take this one so I have a quick attack I can do something. Challenger overall my what I have. Okay, more stat line. Okay, this one. Who's the weakest one, right? Weakest vulnerable. Where is our Nidalee? Okay, no Nidalee. Transform. I think the most expensive one is on the board is this guy. Take him to the next level. We don't have scout because we don't have weapons. So take the tough one. Uh, swing with everything. Holy shit, that guy's 10-10. Uh, pull with this one. I think this is the right way, right way, right way to go, right? I think so. This can't be blocked by Elise. They have fearsome. I'll take this hit. Yeah, we might lose there. I have a feeling that we will lose. 26 damage, 29 damage. Yeah, we will lose. If whatever's on the hand is elusive, we are 100% losing this. We can't even take that one out. Okay, true. We are lowering the attack power, right? By the damage we are doing to it. Okay, that's actually good. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Drain three. Okay. But we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll, we'll wait. 100% we'll wait. I don't have to do it right now. Finally, dude. Super late. Okay. Fine by me. Play Nidalee. Killing it. Um, we can block that one. We play our Nidalee. Swing it like that. That's exactly why I was waiting for a while. So we can just do this here. Survive with 10 HP. Transform Nidalee. Play this one. And we will definitely finish them off this turn. Because we were gonna level up Nidalee. So we wanna play this first. Okay. I wanna check check if this is going to level evolve with the yeah one. Okay. Let them put stuff on the board i want to check this one okay keyword here because they take the keyword to the next year but the spell shield now when i transform this one will this copy it that's my question okay, this one does it also get it does the uh chameleon take the transform like this or is it only through nearly one this one ah it does take it as well holy shit that's nuts look at the stat line increase right now I'm just gonna just do this. Everything gets plus one, plus one. Plus two, plus two, my bad. They lose attack power as well as you're getting a spear as well here. From here. Super. Okay. The chameleon does take the transform with the thing. That's good to know. Quiet again. Spring us, spring us. We're almost at the end. Scout attack. I will take it. Scout is pretty net. Not with the transform reduce my cost by whatever is it the most expensive in my hand by one elusive is not that great and i won't use this much of gold 600 gold i can't afford it anyway so it's okay okay so we'll leave go to the travel take a full heal yeah we'll take a full heal here use my gold better and face off against the two star victor fight the weekly challenge with our two star nidalee the spears and every doing, everything doing two extra damage is pretty nuts. Pretty good, I mean. It's been way better than it looks. I don't want transform. If transform happens, it actually could have. Nah. You can't, I don't have enough mana to do it. We don't want to do anything until they play the spell. Yeah, you can just kill your... They can just kill you in Italy. Definitely play our Italy. Then attack. Next. I just need to have how much mana. Okay, they actually gave it to that one. It's pretty good for us. 
Okay, what we want to do is split this guy. Transform the Lee. I think I should have transformed her first. Then transform this. Give it to some something with good HP. Okay, put it like this. To literally even grows even more. Okay, take them out. If you're good board. Stable board on stable board. However, yeah, Victor is coming, and this is where the game will become super complicated. This guy's gonna go by a lot of attack power. Hey, this one. Okay. Going for that one, fine by me. Okay. I'm just gonna play my uh yeah, Elise. But they get he got loose. Okay, we'll play Elise to block this one with barrier. Yeah. Fight. Fuck with this one with barrier. And remember, this is two units, not one. So we'll just split this one here. Nearly we'll level up. We'll transform them again and swing with an extremely wide board. Always keep in mind which one costs what. Because when we transform like this. We need to know the cost of each unit so we can transform it to two higher. This is gonna go to six. Highest one is this one. Uh I'll take this one. High stat line between all of them. Like this. Swing it like this. Uh who can we buff? It doesn't actually make a make a difference who you buff. It isn't really killing anyways. I don't want the spider, it's fine. Unless they can give a keyword, her, his stat line is not going up. Okay. Two damage there. Two damage there. They can increase attack power, but they can't increase HP. Unless they, uh, Victor gets 1-1 one, one for each keyword. Okay. I got a spear there. I'll take that one out as well. These things grow. And I'm gonna bank the two men and go next. I don't want to put unnecessary stuff on the board because I don't know what I'm gonna draw. Pretty good. Exalt me like the god I am. Don't do this. Super. Give it to Nidalee. Spell shield will be the best. More attack power, I guess, then. Uh do this here. Doesn't actually make a difference what we get. Because we're gonna get another, uh, yeah, what's the thing called? Treasure thing? I'm gonna put it on, yeah. Treasure trove, right? Not treasure trove, what am I saying? Yeah, lucky find. And give it to this one. Spell shield protected. Let like this one. Let like this one. And then they should level up. No level up? It's fine. We're swing pit, can it finish them off? We don't have to worry about doing anything else. We don't even have to transform. This swing. There we go. This fight was a little tricky. If you, if if that turn, if you didn't kill Victor or didn't block properly, you could have been in a trouble. He just slow snowballs out of control, yeah, Victor. Okay, so the two star uh Victor Pad, the weekly challenge done with our two star Nidalee. Let's see what we get. So, okay, A, uh, our MVP is Ellie's. She got Farsight Alteration and uh, Barrier and Draw when you play her. She's okay. She was good pick because Needle is 4 mana and she's 2 mana. You want to have a gap between the two support squads. So that was pretty good. She played pretty well. Especially our bar Barrier blocks around the end was pretty nice. Okay, let's look at the powers. So black Market Discount. Uh, round N, reduce the cost of the most expensive card in your hand by 1. Pretty nice. Uh, Needle can go down by 1 at least. Or any other expensive card in your hand. So that's pretty good. Your spells and skill deal 1 extra damage is good. Because the Ellie's brought uh, Vile, Fist, Vile Fist into the deck. So Vile Fist does 2 extra damage. That's pretty nice. And Nidalee Spears do 6 damage instead of 4. That's pretty nice. This is the only 2 uh, spells and skills I have in mind. I don't really know if there were other synergy. But these 2 work pretty well for us. Okay. Try fair in mind. When you summon 5 uh, power attack, uh, five power ally. It strikes the weakest enemy. Pretty nice. A free kill on the unit. 2, two units. Uh, Rocket. Nidalee and the other dude. The treasure trove dude, it's 
that's pretty nice the one that gives lucky find that's pretty good whenever you do damage to the enemy units they reduce their attack power by the damage you deal to with it pretty nice it's pretty okay not that great but okay allies have one is absolutely broken as power majority of the units have super high attack power and you can transform into a high unit with the high attack power and this makes sure that we do a lot of face damage to the overall enemy force it's pretty nice this is needless two, two star power. If you gain star, you get one extra mana. And when you uh, gain the attack token, create a clever, uh, clever camouflage in hand. This is the one one mana transforms a follower into the two, transforms a follower into two, two extra cost of it, of himself. What I mean, what I mean by that, if you have a f two mana, two mana unit on the board, this will transform it to a four mana. Four mana will turn into six mana. Six mana will turn into eight mana. Random eight mana like this. Absolutely nuts. This is a broken as power. It's pretty good. And of course, uh, next one is the needle is one star power. When an ally transforms, granted plus one plus one in an impact. Of course, and, uh, and of course, last but not least, game starts, you heal your nexus for two. That's about it. Okay, so this is a 3.5 star uh, Tom Kench pad, the weekly challenge with our three star fight. Let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. I tried bike within weekly challenge, monthly challenge, but I've never, it's been a while. It's been forever since I had it. Okay, wait. Uh, mutators, right? Okay, then extra HP, one extra mana, one extra card in their hand. Round start, give the four strongest unit plus two and overrun this round. This round, so it's not temporary. And of course, when any player summons a unit that is already in play, grant it plus one plus one and rally every round. Obviously, is the power that we'll go for. Nuts, we can hit lurk every turn if we attack every turn. That is, which we are. If, if I'm by that, I mean if we have a unit on the board, okay, everything is fine. I'll throw this away though. I don't really want this one. Everything is this fine. Best would be another one mana unit. Okay. Pike has two year on him. Cloth is Warhammer plus one plus one. Plus two plus one. Plus two plus one. Two of them, so plus four plus two. So he's already a five mana six six. Right off the bat, okay. Uh we wanna play our unit. Because we are definitely gonna swing. Take it out. Or next. We get a rector again every turn. Super. Okay, we'll get this one here. Take it out like this. Bike is already eight. Uh I'm okay. Alright, I don't have to use it on these things. If something big comes on the board, then it's a different case. We'll play the one mana first so we can vulnerable something better. Okay, they're just gonna do it constantly. Get this one here. I'm on it. Okay. This time I'm gonna play this one. Get a unit on the board. Super. Put it against this one and swing with everything else. Super. Overrun. Uh. Do we have overrun on everybody? Why does everybody have overrun? Okay, it's attachment. It's their attachment itself. Okay. Pretty overwhelming if you think about it. Okay. We won't play Pike this turn. Okay, we pl play. Uh, we have attack token every turn. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we can just play this one. Hit Lurk. And if they don't have an answer, we can just finish them off. Even if they have an answer, we can finish them off. Yeah, they're taking that out. They have run out of mana. And I can just do this. Attack again. And swing and finish them off. Take this one out. It wouldn't have mattered even if I don't take them out. Yeah, They can only block one. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> pretty, not, pretty good start. I actually forgot half of the powers a bike has. I think they put more marinas here in the deck. Yeah, it makes more stuff lurk in the deck. Interesting. This wind spell shield is pretty good in my, in my opinion. Okay. Let's see our support squad. Wish for something good. Okay, I will take this one. MF because uh, the snap jaws count as free attacks. So MF level up is not going to be that difficult. Sorry, I want to call just healer. Item. Item will get the biggest priority, I guess. Oh, this is the worst one. Yeah, this is the, wor is the worst one. Because everything is set to 2-5. So even if you grow that power of Lurk, it's going to be set to 2-5. Super bad. Yeah, at least we have MF. Everything is set to 5. Even Bike. Even Lurk units. That's actually the biggest thing. Okay, we'll play this girl because she has barrier. 
to this one. Okay. Definitely gonna block it like this because this is much harder to block than that one. Swing. We hit missed lurk. Obviously, the more stuff you put, the high, uh, more difficult it is for you to, you to hit lurk. Okay, they are MF no set to two five. Okay. No, just do this. This can't block. I mean, they can block, but they're gonna die to the MF thing. Super. Every time a unit dies, we put a Lurker in the deck as well, yeah. So eventually, you will hit Lurk constantly. Lurker that costs one less. Uh, no reason not to do this. Keep my MF alive and take less damage. Play this one. And swing. Anything on the board that grows will keep the stat line. They're not going to go to 2-5. But if anyone ever summon something, it's gonna go to 2-5. She's a lurker herself. Okay, definitely gonna play my... Yeah. Scout. Okay. No problem. When we double scout first. My MF will level up. Super. Whatever unit they're gonna play, I can kill it as well. This. To maximize damage to face. And there they go. MF levels up and we just finish them off. No regrets. That's no three regrets. extra damage along with the swing. How much is five? Nine, fifteen, eighteen damage. Super. What a great way to start, yeah. Even though it didn't work the way I thought it would. I thought the MF would level up through the pre-attacks from the snap door. Okay. Mm, I'm just gonna take more of the lurker dudes. Okay, item attachment. Let's see where we can get more copies of themselves. If this was on a one mana unit, that would be nuts. Nice. So I'll take a reroll here. Inform a copy for of itself. Cost one less. Okay, now I can play the harpoon for free. I think. Yeah, I can play the harpoon for free if I can get plunder. I'll take that one though. Yeah, taking is doing a six mana zero damage. Z six damage for zero mana is nuts. Take okay, this one. Do you want anything expensive on the board? These are fine. Lurkers and lurkers. Patch portal bot. Snapjaw. Okay. What are their stat lines? Two stat line. Honestly speaking, I think I should have played this one, yeah. This one actually was a bad idea. Because now this will get traded here. But if I pulled it with that one, I could have kept my this unit alive. So this was a bad play by me. To the fact that they're gonna swing as well. I think I can't even play MF because this will get traded to MF. And I'll do the one thing that I wanted to do last turn. This one. Can't take the stat. Oh, you can take that stat though. Huh? Why would you even take that stat? Ah, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna only attack with one and I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna grow this one. It still gets traded there. Interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna swing with this one, keep this big unit alive. If you tra trade it in, they get more value, so there's no point. Just play it slow. A little slow, I mean. Not too slow. Okay, they do that. I'm just gonna play this with an extra unit. Definitely wanna take that one out. Probably one of the most important units to take out. Okay, block it like this. Block it like this, block it like that. Uh, can't block it like that right now. I'm gonna block this one. This is way more important. Yeah, this good guy grows over time with the number of spells the enemy plays. So much dangerous unit to play. Just do this. Proper trade there. I'm just gonna play Pike now. Because Ply Pike coming on the board, they have to deal with them. Attacks for 9, attack for quick attack. What I'm just gonna do is do this, not attack with anything else, only pike. The reason why I wanna do this is because I don't wanna trade this into this, is because when you hit the uh, bone square with pike, it's gonna wipe the board as it is. Yeah, he's gonna wipe the board as it is. Okay, 
That's unlucky. Play MF. Yeah, so they do that. We're just gonna do this. Ike wipes the board. Because on the top, you play Snapture, you get the Pike Spill, you also hit Lurk, and now we can go for the real swing. And we can do two swings instead of one, because the MF, because the Snapjaw counts as a swing, and you can do this as well. Just check to see, okay. Check to see if we don't have enough, we don't, because they're gonna block it, so we play this guy. And then, oops, I could've done one extra damage, you still would've been one short. It's fine. We'll do one shot. Bike spell ready. Whoops. And swing. Super. Yeah, that, that combo is pretty good, but problem is in paths where everything happens super fast, super fast, you can't do these things. I tried the multi challenge with Pike and he was horrible. Even with three star, he was horrible. Cost one more, but uh, I guess three three stat line, which is actually not good. I want I would rather have this guy played for two mana than having more more stat line because they're lurkers. They get get a power as it is, so you're not too worried. I'll take a reroll here. Fifty percent chance of being played for free. This being played for two extra one extra is pretty good. I lose a four four on the board. Uh, if they already have, they attack a free. I will take this one though. Okay, we'll go go for shop. Shop purchase is much more valuable. Sparring student. I'll take another reader. Should I take another one? No, no. Never take a. Never proceed with a zero mana. Yeah, it's just weird. Okay. Give two, two extra HP to that unit. When I'm played, I'm summoned. Because I'm not buying anything, might as well just buy a couple of units. Sure, and face off against play. the MF fight, the boss fight. Yeah, you always want to have one reader along your way. You never know where you need it. These are pretty good. This is pretty good in the sense that. It's a little soft lurk hitter, so that's good for you. Okay. I'm one of the good guys. So as they're doing it like that, <laughs> if if we play anything, you're gonna get take a swing at it. So what we wanna do is do this. We we'll let the MF go through. It's fine. Yeah, MF swing go through. It's fine. And we'll do this. Is this the right way to go? Anyway, if we hit Lurk, yeah, this is the right way to go. Yeah, because this one will also have Lurk, exactly. Okay, pretty good. Let's play our one mana first. Let's to see what they do. Then we play this one here. Okay. So we do it here. We do it here. Doing it like this. Pretty good. All three killed. All my three units are alive. Good tempo advantage. I think I will just set up my yeah, scout squad here. Yeah. Swing with scouts first. Hit lurk. We got a pike spill. Immediately drew him. Swing leg again. When she dies, she rallies, by the way, in this turn. Let's take this one out. We're taking out so many units of theirs. Oh, it's like Pike. Swing with Scott first. Came a long way Take it out. Swing. Okay. Pretty ruthless pressure if you think about it. A spawn still in the attacks and we draw champions and we put more champ uh, units in the deck. This deck is, I don't think this deck is possible to mail out. Swing with scouts again. Okay. 
I think I'm just gonna sacrifice my ear. I take less damage and that's more valuable right now. Oh wait, it's a boss fighter. He recovered anyways. Something to keep us moving. Let's do this and finish them off. Yeah, there was no point of blocking with Pike. We would have healed that healed back anyway because of the boss fight. But Pike doing Pike things. Mm, free attack on Pike. <laughs> Nuts. Yeah, free attack is nuts than the always in my hand. You can level him up in turn one turn, I mean. Oh, whenever you have more than 20 cards, you cost reduce by one. It's good because you put more stuff in the deck. Obviously, we'll go for the red fight. Red nose fight. Because every time an ally dies, you put two units in the deck. So cost reduction is gonna be even higher. Uh, I like this one actually. I can could have kept this one by the way. Zero mana, I can play it again. This deck, this this matchup has a lot of pink spells. They kill your units too much. And you, you see how much mana they have as well. Let's see what they do. It actually costs by one. You won't believe what okay. Definitely want to do this first. Lucif. This way. We're fine on our own. Okay. Uh. If I do this, this thing attacks, these two attack each other. Oh, we hit Lurk. Thank God. I was saying we missed Lurk on the worst case in possible. But our damage in. Okay. Post by one. I'll play my MF. No prey, no pay. Let's make a deal. Definitely gonna play this one. Never stop shooting. But I'm not gonna attack with the fish. Actually, and I can actually attack with the fish. Yeah, because this guy will get killed by MF thing if we do it. Now nah, the only proper trade is this one. I'm okay with this trade. That thing has quick attack. What you looking for? Huh? Pike's turn coming on the board. Killing him will not be easy. He has 6 HP. I'm gonna take MF's one. Get that one. Fine by me. Question is if he free attacks, does he lose the attack token? Nah, hey, you don't lose the attack token if you hit free attack. And you can attack like this is because when. This dies, he wipes the board. That's how you can attack it. Ah, oh, he doesn't wipe the board. That's super good fun. Yeah, I lost an MF for nothing because now they can swing. Yeah. Now they can swing. But I can kill the entire board after the swing, yeah. There's actually a very good, like, trait for them. The MF thing messed our thing up. What has happened has happened. You wanna play slow. Okay. Flip on the girl for one mana. Hornable here. More mushrooms in the deck. This one. This side. Okay, put the vulnerable. Yeah, over on this side. Okay, 27 damage. This one kills this one. We do more damage. We are still here. Yeah, we are actually. We took so much damage from that play. Yeah, the MF passive MF shot messed it. Messed everything up. I think phase damage as well. They play anything, we just swing. Oh, damn it. You have to be careful, I told you. They actually have damage to face. Okay, they're attacking the unit this time. The reason why it happened again is because we added more cards into the deck. And for every card we put in the deck, everything goes by two, I think. One, then two. There we go. 
Okay. The swing, that swing, man, that swing was ma massively bad for us, dude. I, get mine, you get yours. I mean, it's a red fight, we get a free power, but still. I'll take more of this. Gonna uh, manifest super bad. Yeah. Heal for two. These are so super awkward. Yeah. But I want to take something at least. Fine, I'll take this. I, I at least have the option not to play it if I don't want to. Yeah, free power. Something in my hand goes down by one. I'll take it. Uh this one direct fight, obviously. I don't want a direct fight. I have so much gold lying and I don't want a direct fight. Okay. Plus two plus two super. I like it. Uh plus plus of Dragon Fury, pretty good. Strongest I like it's an attachment, I'll take it. When I'm summoned, draw one is not something that I want because our hand is getting clogs as it is. This guy having a lurk is pretty good. A couple of them. Uh, okay. What are the what are the pit stops? Reaper Spay. Okay, I'm gonna go for Reaper Spay. I don't know remember what Reaper Spay is, but I know for a fact that it's lurk synergistic. It. <laughs> Pull this away. Definitely don't want this. I don't want to clock my hand with more Emperor things. I kept it as an option. Cost two less. Super. Because there's so many cards in the deck now. The one mana MF then. If I attack with MF, she dies. I'll just do this then. We miss Lord. Next. Everything costing two less is nuts. Hmm. Okay, they grow. Fine by us. Play over this. Every work demands a piece Play of this. ourselves. Interesting. Yeah, let this here. Attack like this. Hopefully hit Lurk. Nice. Good bike as well. Love Why didn't they trade it here? Interesting. Because they wanted to attack like that. Yes. That's overwhelm. Positive block around this is this one. We take 3 damage. Oh dude, we're so low on HP. We even see it. hit here mf trade i think i'm okay with this i could have healed it and then swung by the way yeah true mf mf trade wasn't actually good i just didn't see that mf would die i should have played that better okay okay see if we can get a lurk which we did now we can vulnerable that one uh, play this one. Actually, we can do is this, do this. Yeah, do this. They have that one. We attack with this one. They block it. We attack with the second one. We win. Yeah, they, they have no units on the board. Super. A typical snap draw win. Lord does it so well. This snap draw win. Super. Yeah, MF. MF kill there was a blunder for us definitely. Infomarl, 100% you don't want. Okay. Oh, dude, we have to pick something. That's so unlucky. Plus one more, but it's three mana less. Fine, I'll take this one. Reaper Spay. Okay. okay, select a card and add two copies to your deck. Always in my hand. That's one. Plus one less, summon itself. Okay. Always in my hand is something that I like. I'll take a full heal because I don't want what, what will I use the gold for last pit stop anyway. The 3.5 star Tom Kench weekly challenge. If I can get stabilize my Pike, I should be fine. A couple of I didn't get Pike in the couple of last games. Definitely want to keep her. She can be played for two mana. Everything goes by yeah, now nice. We can actually we can play can we play him? It goes by two. We can play him next turn. Next turn. Just, uh, just pretend I'm not here. Let this one. I'll let them attack. 
we swing okay swing first with this one hopefully we did get lurk which we didn't get fine by us and swing again oh because we got we put more every time a unit dies something in the deck gets lurked and whatever was on the top just got lurk <laughs> that's a super lucky though yeah this wait this was already lurk what whatever attack free attack with pike got a pike we got a lurk i mean hit it pumpkin is coming if we do a swing like this do we use the attack token no we don't if they kill it we put another lurker in the deck if we swing it they have to block it yeah yeah it takes damage levels up doesn't sw heal anything but it's fine now we have a bone skewer in the hand right yeah and we can actually level up anytime we want well, i mean wipe the board anytime you want you just keep one mana open i'm sure there's something for my taste okay fully heal do we care about the fully heal we do take him out so there's nothing to fully heal and take mf as well and we get a pike spell by the way because pike's on the top of the deck I don't have enough mana to play that one. Okay. Attack with the scout first. Hit Pike. Love ya. And swing at everything. If they want to trade with the MF, let him trade with the MF. Absolutely ruthless. If they summon with anything, well, they can't summon with anything. I'm just gonna swing with the scout first. Where there's a will, there's a summon with the scout first. They have to block it or they die. Even if they block it, they die. Yeah, super. Absolute menacing performance in the end. By Bainta squad. Yeah, the reduced cost by 2 is nuts. Yeah, I knew that if you have for every 40 cards, our uh, cost goes down by one. But every time a unit dies, you get even more reduction. So that's pretty nice. Okay, the 3.5 star Tom Kench weekly challenge done with our 3 star pipe. Let's see what we get. Okay, yes. Okay, champion and champion part discussion time. Okay, MVP got this guy. Well, because he got a lot of attachment and he was pretty good. The vulnerables were actually nuts. Vulnerable spell shield plus 2 HP and dragon. It's pretty nice. Fury and dragon. Plus one, plus one. Okay, let's look at the powers okay round start give your weakest ally plus plus, plus three this round fix your upper pretty nice i love this power it's actually much better than it looks black market discount round and reduce the cost of the most expensive card in your hand by one it's pretty good the majority of the most expensive are pike and other cards that you might add so that's pretty nice you can play them faster this one is an absolute mvp the first card you play each round cost one less for every 20 card that started in your started in your deck so even if you put more stuff in the deck it doesn't matter but we did put a lot of stuff we we did buy a lot of stuff in the uh pit stops and the shops so it, it got, eventually came a point where it was 40 40 plus cards so it caused it made you uh reduce the cost of a card in your hand by two on the opening uh first time you play every round that's pretty nice because you can like play, play pike for a three man on the uh first on the second turn because spike is five mana not four mana anymore nerf but yeah pretty good and of course, game, uh, this is next power, which is game start. Uh, summon a sparring sword. It was okay. It was a debate that I don't want to use my reroll to get anything extra, so I just kept it. It was okay. It was performing pretty well. So, and ne next one is absolutely game winning power, game crushing power, game breaking power. It's domination. I haven't gotten this power in a while. Uh, domination round start rally uh, excellent on Pike because we want to attack every turn because we are lurkers. Now we hit, we can hit lurkers every round because of this power. Pretty good. Okay. Game start. Grant Mirai's reuse to four random allies. When you get the attack token, grant it to two more. Ram Mirai's reuse is basically an attachment that turns it into a lurk. But not only does it turn it into a lurk, it gives plus one plus one stat line as well. So you can hit, and the funny thing is that you can actually hit the same target twice. So you can four random allies. You can actually hit a unit twice and give it plus two plus two attack power, plus two plus two as well as lurk, and of course grant it uh two more on every attack at, attack token and because of the fact that we attack every round we get the attack token uh, we rally every round we get the attack token every round and this thing combines together pretty pretty crazy and so that basically means that we have a higher chance of hitting narc and of course game start uh, uh so this is bikes to support every game start you can run some mana and when an ally dies create a random lurker that costs one more in your deck and grant it plus one plus one okay pretty nice and of course uh, this is legend legend rank 20 power 
uh game start draw champion not specifically pike any champion in your deck we get a free draw and of course game search you heal your nexus for two that's about it